Piers Morgan, 56, shut down those who say he criticizes Meghan Markle so often because he must fancy her, or because he is racist, sexist and his comments are damaging to her mental health. Piers took his rage to Twitter on Sunday afternoon. He claimed in view of his 7.9 million followers, it's amusing how my legitimate criticism of someone like the ghastly Ms. Markle is automatically categorized by the woke brigade as A, racist B, sexist C, damaging to her mental health or D, because I must fancy her. In fact, it's just because she's ghastly. I don't hate Meghan Markle. I just hate the damage she and her drippy doormat husband are doing to the royal family and monarchy with their constant unsubstantiated smears and attacks, whilst hypocritically exploiting their royal titles for huge financial gain. The journalist also responded to a user who said, I think Andrew has done more damage don't you? To which Piers simply said, yes. As is often the case, Piers tweets divided users, with some echoing his sentiment while others jumped to the Duchess' defense. Zia'a said, indeed she is. Florida echoed, well put Piers, I'm sure loads more carry the same opinion. Whereas Edward hit back, what you never acknowledge is the criticism is value but the obsession, ever since she ghosted you, is what's creepy. And Andy raged, you're pretty ghastly at Piers Morgan but I don't keep on about it, actually, I do, but I don't have the audience you have. Less is sometimes more, still keeps you in the public eye, eh? Piers' rant came after author Caitlin Moran reposted Sinead O'Connor's rejection email to the presenter about appearing on his new talk show, Uncensored. The more than a woman writer shared a screenshot of the email and said, Pretty sure there are dozens of celebrities who would line up to do this one at the next Letters Live. Sinead revealed Piers invited her onto his show following the tragic death of her son, Shane. The singer tweeted on Saturday, Piers Morgan's been trying to get me on his breakfast show since Shaney died. Here's what I emailed him in response, hopefully you will chortle your tea out your nose. The email read, Hi Piers, I think it's best I don't do your show because of the irresistible temptation I would have to point out that you're dying to be BS deep in Meghan Markle so bad it's driven you crazy. And that your dislike of Prince Harry is down to his being BS deep in her ten times a day. It being the case that if you were ever to get near her, which would never happen, you'd last ten seconds, and that would be that for ten days. Piers seemed to be amused by the email and retweeted her, adding, Hi Sinead, I delight to hear from you and I did indeed chortle my tea out of my nose. Three things. A. I haven't hosted a breakfast show for a year. B. I actually fancy you, not Megan. Think it's the G.I. Jane hair thing. C. I was so sorry about your son. Hope you're okay. Another news, Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins, who died on Friday at the age of 50, once had a bizarre encounter with Prince Harry when they met backstage in 2015. Speaking on The Howard Stern Show in February last year, Hawkins said the 37-year-old royal had slapped him across the face after he complained he was feeling tired before a concert. The late musician said the slap had been playful but still p said me off, actually. He walked in and goes, how are you doing? I said, I can't wake up. I'm so tired. I gotta play, I can't wake up, he recounted. He just goes bam and I went, you mother f cur. He was like, are you awake now? Or something like that. I was like, yeah. Hawkins added, I got slapped in the face by the prince. That's okay really, if you think about it. But in the moment, I was like, you f king slapped me, dude.